Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to understand about operators. So you do have operators for any other language. Similarly, we do have in uh, PowerShell. If we can find out, let's uh, discover the required operators. Whether what kind of you know, what kind of uh, command lines we have. So simply operators so it should you know search and discover and find out and a few of the operators are listed here so you do have here logical you have uh, operators normal operators compassion assignment and arithmetic and data type uh, operators so now um, what what we're trying to do is we can give it try with the different operators uh, like uh, for example if I five plus uh, maybe two it actually gives the result that means the math uh, it knows uh, very well let's try some more uh, like uh, maybe is a uh, number five is uh, is it a number five uh, let's type number five is uh, is it uh, greater or small it comes as a G uh, G stands for here greater or equivalent so this is GT if you see here it's coming as the GTGE so it is GT greater than 3 is it true or false it's a true similarly you also have here in stuff uh, GT you can go for uh, LT that's a uh, that's the uh, another case so it's a true or false case you can find out and also you can search for the similar thing for whether it is equivalent it's wrong okay oh that's wrong let's give as equals it's a false so you know uh, you have other you know uh, parameters which uh, can be in a pass within this like come for the compassion let's see even for the not equals and e uh, it should be true yeah we got the true as art but so we do have different options uh, within the PowerShell to you know look at and we don't need to program uh, any greater way but PowerShell also have some of other uh, problems uh, to do the complication uh, to do the simple uh, calculations or simple true false case let me explain that too uh, let's say uh, I can type as uh, how are you as a word uh, let's type this is how are you word is it equivalent which is EQ most of the time we try to use uh, these are the things like EQ and GT LT and uh, also the not equal and and equal so at least uh, at least in the uh, if you take it of 10 to 15 percent of your scripts will uh, definitely will have equals and other kind of you know uh, things which are uh, which are required to write as part of your requirement in your uh, script so that's why I'm trying to you know, compare here so here uh, equals to uh, I can type the same value whether it is true or false case so in this case it says that it's true but the same thing if I type as in capitals uh, how or you or it should also come as the true the reason Windows is uh, always looks at uh, it doesn't look at the uh, case sensitive maybe for us it's a case sensitive or if you're uh, coming from the Linux or Unix environment it might be a uh, matters for you but for the windows it doesn't matter you need to give another command uh, within this like as a key sensitive because uh, if when I give as a key sensitive it's it does the exact uh, compassion otherwise it doesn't uh, tell you that it, it takes by default in a windows mode let me also talk about other operators uh, I did already talked about the plus uh, I wanted to show you the uh, subtraction of uh, 5 minus 2 for example it is also doing the calculation for you and also for the multiplication for example 5 into maybe 8 uh, it's showing the proper value uh, with the um, multiplication and also you can do the uh, if and division uh, with the uh, with the PowerShell built-in so you are able to get it and also the modules uh, for example uh, uh, the percentage like uh, you can also get the values within the PowerShell uh, with the uh, with the percentage also you can also use the like or not like cases for example uh, if I use PowerShell is like as a shell uh, whether it is true or false case it's a true and uh, you can also have another one uh, which contains the similar example here or like a PowerShell specific server and anything as has the shell yes only uh, it has the shell 
within this PowerShell. So you are originating this specific value. And uh, if you don't want uh, something not like case, you can also do that uh, within this. For example, within the PowerShell, if you don't like uh, or you don't want to get as a shell, so whatever the value was there, uh, it says that it is a false. But the same thing if I uh, do for this example, so you can uh, get it as a not like case. So it's going to return as a server. Uh, earlier it was returning as a PowerShell now uh, the value is coming from the server and now you also know the match case uh, you can also define the uh, match cases for example within the excel sheet uh, you have some kind of data and you want to you know match to some kind of you know value for example i have value called sunday monday uh, example let me type it here sunday monday tuesday and i wanted to match anything with contain with the sun uh, that means it should written as a sunday so it's just written as a sunday uh, that's a good case and uh, let me take one more example here for the banana uh, is there anything any is matching in this yeah it's matching any is available so it's showing me as uh, true and for the uh, not match case you can also do not match uh, for the same characters or uh, same here example uh, Sunday as in rain uh, which is not matching that's true Sometimes we try to use uh, if the output has some value it contains uh, you want to you know, get that kind of an output in that situation for example uh, ABC if I take as a value and uh, as it contains as a definition as a DAF it says that it has that value called uh, DF that means it's a true uh, that's a good uh, I hope this is useful for you uh, and in the upcoming lectures uh, you would be learning more and more operators in the practical labs with the practical uh, execution of those uh, scripts. Thank you for watching this.